Hello, we wanted to welcome you to GSF Driving and Truck Training School. Today we'll be doing the Class A Vehicle Inspection. It is comprised of three parts, the air brakes, the in-cab, and the walk-around. To pass the inspection, you need to pass all three parts. So please step inside the truck with me so we can begin with the air brake inspection. You must first be sure to get in safely. Uh, you need to use a three point technique where you're grabbing onto three points in order to get inside the cab. So as you get in, we're gonna reach here and here and we're gonna step in, okay? Okay, so now we're ready to begin the air brake portion of the exam. Uh, the first thing you need to do is put on your uh, seatbelt. So make sure you have this on. Uh, once we put on the seatbelt, we're ready to begin the exam. Uh, you're going to be doing uh, six tests. The first one is called the applied pressure test. The second one is called the low air warning test. The third one is the emergency pop-out test. The fourth one is the governor cut out test. The fifth one is the governor cut in test. And then lastly, we'll be doing the individual brake test where we test each one of the brakes in the truck. Uh, so the first one we're gonna do is the applied pressure test. Uh, we will begin by, making, by checking the pressure on our gauge. This is our primary air gauge. You need to make sure that you really become familiar with the gauge on the vehicle that you're gonna be testing it. Here, for example, each uh, increment is 25 PSI. So you need to make sure that you understand uh, where the needle is sitting. For example, here, it's a little past the halfway point between 100 and 125 PSI. So I would call that approximately 115 PSI. Uh, we're gonna make sure that we start below 100 PSI so that we can fill up the tanks once we start doing the first uh, test, okay? So I'm gonna get below 100 PSI uh, and now I'm ready to begin my exam. Uh, because I'm gonna be turning on the vehicle, I need to make sure that the vehicle is safe to start. What that means is that I need to make sure that my transmission's in neutral and that my, both of my parking brakes are on, meaning that my tractor parking brake is on, which means popped out, and that my trailer parking brake is on, which means it's also out. The first test is called the applied pressure test. The point of this test is to check the rate of air leakage within the truck. So for this, we're going to be Releasing the trailer parking brake. Releasing means pushing it in. And now I'm going to be turning on the vehicle, letting it build up to maximum capacity. So I'm going to be looking at my needle and I'm gonna give it a little bit of gas in order to speed up the process. I need to make sure that my, when, I, uh, when I give it gas, I don't go above 1500 RPMs, which is considered unsafe. So there, I'm right around 1300 RPMs. My needle keeps going up, and I'm gonna fill up the tanks. I will know the tanks are filled once your needle stops moving. So there, my needle stopped moving, and I reached maximum capacity, approximately 128 PSI. At this point, I need to put the vehicle into low gear. Now I'm going to be turning off the engine. Once I turn off the engine, I need to make sure that I put the key back on so the electrical system is still working. And for the applied pressure test, the next thing I need to do is release my second parking brake, the tractor parking brake. Once I release the second parking brake, now I will apply my service brake for one minute. In that minute, I cannot lose more than four PSI in a class A vehicle. So I will press down on the brake all the way down. It's very important that you keep the pressure all the way down. Once your foot is all the way down on the brake, at that point you must note the PSI. You must uh, mention to the examiner at what PSI you're beginning. 
here I am currently at 105 PSI. So on the day of your test, you need to make sure you have a, a watch, something with a seconds hand, so that you can keep track of the full minute. For the sake of this demonstration, we're not gonna wait the full minute, but it's important that in that minute, you keep the pressure all the way down on, on the foot of the brake. Because if you do not keep the pressure all the way down, you can start getting air leak like you might hear there. Okay, so make sure you keep the pressure all the way down. You wait a full minute, and once the minute is over, you're gonna tell the examiner, sir, my minute is over, and as you can see, I'm still at 105 PSI. You would call out whatever pressure you see that you are at, at that moment, and you would say, and as you know, that, that means that I have not lost more than four PSI, which means that uh, it's a good exam, it's a good test.